One of the fastest ways to improve your Vim skills is to use the insert mode commands to avoid just unnecessary mode switching. This is kind of like the Emacs philosophy of not having many modes. I don't really know how Emacs works, but I think they kind of just stay in one mode and have a ton of commands. So I'm going to get the useless ones out of the way first. That way I can tank my retention and stay as a small niche YouTuber. A lot of people have been telling me that the Primogen reacted to me and I'm going to blow up, but yeah, I don't know. I like to help smaller Vim YouTubers out when I can, and it's good he got some content off of me. So if you do Control e that's actually going to insert the character below your cursor. And if you do Control i this is all in insert mode, by the way. No, sorry, not Control i That inserts a tab. Control y for yes. That'll insert the character above, and then I can switch back to Control e and that'll start inserting the character below again. If you want to delete a word that you've just typed, don't go normal mode and then delete. You can just do Control w and if you want to delete by character, you can do Control h Pretty useful. If you want to undo that, you can do Control o So that's going to be one-shot mode, and what this does is it basically lets you do one normal mode command, and then it takes you back to insert. Then I'll type u, it undoes it, and I'm back in insert, typing again. You can also tab and untab your current line with Control t to tab and Control d to delete. As I mentioned earlier, Control i inserts a tab character. You can insert a new line character with Control m although most people are probably going to prefer to just use the enter, but I, I kind of like it. Sometimes it's a little more ergonomic. And then also what you can do is G, Control g and then J and K to move in insert mode. So that's nice if you just want to go down a line and you don't want to actually leave. And as I mentioned earlier, there's Control o to do like a quick motion, but this is a little like... I don't know. I don't often use this. The only case is when maybe I've got like parentheses I want to walk through. Like say for instance, I've got parentheses right there and I'm typing like this and then I want to walk forward by one. You can do like control O L and then you're forward and then you're again typing. So, so a lot of you probably have the auto pairs plugin. I prefer not to just because I think you don't need it if you can type well, but yeah. Then there's also control A, which inserts the last inserted text. So if I do self dot this equals that, and then escape, and then I go back to insert mode control A, it just reinserts it. So pretty useful. You can also insert from your registers in insert mode with control R. So say that I want to insert the file name, I can do control R and then uh, percent, which is the file name, or I could insert from any of the other registers. So you type dis, you can see all your registers. Most people know this one, but let's say we want to insert this navbar user, whatever, which is in register zero. We can do control R zero, and then that inserted that whole thing and undo. Okay, and then there's also if you want to insert literally a character, which is nice for your config sometimes, like, so you want to create a mapping, and you want to insert the backspace character, you can do control V, which stands for, I like to think of verbatim, but if you're illiterate, you can think of a value, I guess. And then you can type backspace, and it inserts the backspace character. So that's pretty nice. You can also use all of these within command mode. So I'm typing out a long command. I can do control W to delete things. And this also works actually on the command line. So you can delete with that. Oh, I forgot to mention also you can delete an entire line. If I go to insert mode, let's go to insert mode on something. So control G, J, actually, let's just go to the end here. You can do control U and that'll delete your whole line to the B. You can also get completion. So I can do control N to get the next match often useful for getting your next keyword match. And then you can also get file completion with control X and then control F, and then that'll show you the files in your current directory and you can browse through them and then control Y to accept. That's often quite nice. I find that control N can often like get you some pretty good results and control P goes to previous. So declaring a new function like, oops, if I type fun, that'll finish that for me. And it's often pretty good. And then let's get turret, control N, got that. And then let's create a new method, this, that, and then control N, just entered a new function. So it doesn't always work, but if you're typing like a pretty common document symbol, it'll pick up on that most of the time. The out of the box completion is better than most people give it credit for.